This is a, a four point, close to $4.5 million project. Um, and, and really, um, the MRI has been on the drawing board for a while. Uh, of, of course, you know, uh, with COVID, uh, there were some delays. But as soon as the, the opportunity or the capacity to start work uh, uh, was available, we started the project early in 2022 and it has taken us uh, 12 months uh, to, to get this uh, to a state of readiness. The machine arrived um, actually um, in, in um, late in November but there's a whole host of other uh, components to it that needed to be sorted. Uh, in addition to the machine, the very critical component is the, the, the shielding of the, 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 the magnetic shielding, so to say, uh, and, and uh, making the right um, structure uh, to, to house the MRI machine. So all these had taken time. Obviously, there are uh, there have been uh, logistical issues, um, as, as as I can say that uh, the core technology uh, and, and the development of the uh, has been done by a company from New Zealand, uh, and, and of course the MRI machine itself is uh, supplied by Siemens. Eh? We have uh, biomedical engineers on the ground, and and uh, of course the major support is through the preventive maintenance agreements we have with Siemens and that is provided out of Australia. Um, there is no difficulty in, that we see in maintaining the equipment. Uh, we don't um, spare any cost to make sure that um, that aspect of uh, uh, is, is taken care of. And uh, with technology now, the uh, engineers and the uh, personnel from Siemens can access and um, analyze the issues uh, in the machine from Australia. And, and uh, most of the issues can be resolved with, with a biotechnology uh, person um, um, here on the ground in constant um, discussions and, and consultation with the, with the experts in Australia and New Zealand. I can say that the cost of the, uh, there are various kinds of tests um, and, and I can say that the cost is uh, relatively much cheaper than what would be in Australia and New Zealand. So our cost would range um, somewhere around uh, um, uh, over $1,000 to um, uh, well under $5,000, eh? uh, depends on the type of uh, procedures or examinations that are required. We are uh, very flexible in that approach um, and, and uh, depending on um, the accessibility sort, we are happy to talk with, for example, the, the uh, Ministry of Health in how um, those who cannot afford personally but uh, need support through government, uh, we, can, we can really uh, look at uh, the uh, costs of the uh, MRI tests. Uh, with, with the social responsibility uh, angle eh? and, and obviously we are open to do that. This is the most advanced technology that is available and, and the most advanced modality, one of the most advanced I am told, um, uh, that is available as a diagnostic tool uh, and, and for us to have it here in a country like Fiji, of course the government has had it for uh, more than 10 years I understand but this is an advanced model, the latest version. Um, technologies get upgraded very, very quickly. Uh, and we are happy with what we have on the ground. Uh, it, it brings a new dimension to diagnostics and assists with the, the medical professionals with uh, coming to the right conclusions in terms of what interventions or treatments are required for patients who need that care. Eh?